Hello everybody, my name is Johannes. I'm head of R&D for our Display BU. Today we are here to have a chat about a great technology. This technology is called Liquid Crystals and you find it in all kinds of electronics and display products all over the world. The amazing thing is we are celebrating today the discovery which happened 135 years ago. Can you imagine? And it's so relevant today. So I'm sitting here today with Melanie and Sven. And Melanie, why is this technology so great and still aware? I think these materials fascinated people since they were discovered. So one point is they are fluid, like liquids. And on the other side, they have properties like crystals, so they are ordered, and this combination of properties is what makes them so unique. 135 years ago they were invented, so when the whole thing started to become relevant for display. So, so basically the year 1888, British Reinitzer and Otto Lehmann discovered the liquid crystal and they noticed when looking at a natural, natural substance which can also be found in carrots, they found a very unusual behavior. What they discovered was they, they heated up the, the substance and they saw two melting points. At first it became milky and fluid, and at a higher temperature then it became really clear what you would expect from a normal substance. And since then also, of course, a lot of research was going on and the TN test cell, TN display was um, invented. So TN means twisted pneumatic. So exactly. that was one of the first modes where we could see that these molecules can, can switch in the electric field and also influence light, right? Yeah. So you say it all started in the 60s. So if you go to the media market or other shops, you find still a huge variety of products which is based on liquid crystal technology. So Melanie, what makes it so versatile that we still see innovation and new products based on liquid crystals? I think there is still a lot in the liquid crystals that can be discovered. And so there, we are not standing still. We still have a huge R&D uh, for liquid crystals not only for, our, for the technologies which are mature and which are already on the market, but also for new technologies, like for example AR, VR. I think here really liquid crystal can be a game changer, yeah? because liquid crystals, they, what they offer is ultra thin displays, small scale displays with extreme high resolution, and this is crucial, this is what you need for AR, VR devices. So what kind of uh, role plays liquid crystals in these AR, VR devices? So maybe if you have a look at, at such devices, they are already there, but still bulky. However, at the moment we have displays inside and you need high resolution for this display, high brightness and so on. One of the first generations. This is right? one of the first generations and great and adopted already by customer. But the, the vision is that maybe in 10 years we are all wearing glasses, looking like normal glasses we are wearing today but with additional functionalities. And for that, we still need new materials. And we think that also liquid crystals can play a major role here. So you see, liquid crystal is old, 135 years, but still super relevant. So the technology is so versatile that we are still working on new modes, on new technologies like AR, VR and many other things that makes liquid crystals even more relevant in the future. So let's celebrate a great technology, great stuff. 135 years ago it all started, and I'm convinced 135 years in the future we will see it in the shops. Thanks, Sven. Thanks, Melanie. Great thanks, talk. Thanks, Johannes. Thank you, Johannes. Bye.